Hello, dear sixth graders, how are you guys? I hope everything okay with you, yes? Today, let's talk a little bit about dividing fractions. Let's understand a little bit about it and how we do it, okay? I'll explain quickly a video about this. Dividing fractions, guys, as you notice, we need four steps. Number one, it's the same step for everybody, for our operations. Mix a number as in proper fraction. Step number two, you change the division symbol to multiplication, okay? Division, you switch to multiply, multiply, and you flip the second fraction. Uh, the third step, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, as we did before in multiplication. And number four, simplify if possible. As you notice here, we solved those problems here in the classroom. One fourth divided by five over six. Remember, first of all, do I have any mixed number? Mm -mm, I don't. As you notice here, I just switch multiply, division to multiplication and I flip the fraction. Right now it's 6 over 5. And I multiply straight across. 1 times 6, 4 times 5. You got the result is 6 over 20. Can I simplify? Yes, you can. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 20 divided by 2 is 10. Great. It's pretty simple, guys. We did some of these in classroom. I will not uh, spend more time and work on those problems over here because we did already. But we can solve a little bit of some hard ones, like here, number 11. Let me solve number 11 over here to you understand this one. This exercise, what do I have to do? First of all, remember these steps, we're over here. And we started mixing number to improper fraction. 3 times 7 plus 3. 3 times 7, 21. 21 plus 3, 24. 24 over 7 divided by 10 divided by 21. 10 and 21. Great. Right now, I will switch all those guys here. Switch the division to multiplication when I flip the fraction. Let's do it then. 24 divided by 7 times and 21 over 10 you multiply straight across 24 times 21 and 7 times 10 but before i multiply i will simplify the fraction because i can i i prefer to do it guys to be simple fractions to understand how to do 10 i can simplify with 24 divided by 2 right now is 12 and 5 and 21 and 7 can simplify to divide by 7 is 1 and here is 3. Great, better to multiply to solve the problem. Very better. 12 times 3, it is 36. 1 times 5, it is 5. Great, right now is the, the simplest form for this fraction. You can write this as a, a mixed number. You have the result here 7 and one fifth great remember the order of operation here you need to follow number 12 you need to follow the order of operation first great if you solve those guys here in red first you got this new result here 15 over 8 great after you solve the problem those problems over here guys what do you have to do you have just to add you remember, you multiply denominators, okay, and you multiply straight across, you cross and multiply. Great, 3 times 8 and 15 times 4. You got the new result and simplify it. When you simplify it, you find 21 over 8. And you can write this as a mix of number 2 and 5 8. Great. Here's some word problems. Let's solve this one. This first one is. A container of juice contains 10 and 7, 7 uh, eighth cups. If the serving size listed on the package is 3 fourth cup, how many servings are there? This is easy, guys. You have the number, the big one, 10 and 7 eighth cups, divided by in 3 fourth each cup. Okay? That's where you're serving on it. Right now, the first thing. You mix a number in proper fraction. Right now I have 87 over 8. 10 times 8, 80 plus 7, 87. 
divided by, oh sorry, divided by 3 fourths. Right now I need to switch this guy here. You keep the first fraction, 87 over 8, you multiply 4 over 3. I can simplify, divide by 4, divide by 4, right now it's 2 and 1, 87 times 1 is 87, 2 times 3, it is 6. Nice. Right now, can I write this uh, uh, a big number? Yes, I can, like a, a mixed number. Yes, you can do it. How I do it? Mm, let's think. Uh, I need here 87 divided by 6. 87. And 6, you can divide by 1 over here. You've got number 2, bring it down number 7. How many times 6 goes into 27? 6 times 4 is 24. Yes, more of close is 4. And over right now I have here, so we track this one is 3. Great. My mixer number is 14 and 3 over 6. Great. Here is my answer. Remember, answer uh, word problems, word answer. 14 and 3, 6 to what? 14 and 3, 6, what? Uh, servings. How many servings? Uh, this is the total for servings, okay? I, you can serve 14 and 3 over 6 servings. Great! Here's our class. Remember, our easy ticket. What the steps for divide fractions? Step number one, mix a number in proper fractions. Step number two, you switch division to multiplication and you flip the fraction, the second fraction. Step number three, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. And for last one, simplify if necessary. Great, guys. See you next class. Bye.